Step 1. Pull down the notification bar on your Android phone to bring up the quick toggles. Step 2. Turn off the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth toggles. Step 3. Wait for a few seconds and turn them back on. Now, let your phone establish a connection with Android Auto. A quick fix for this issue is to restart your car's head unit. You can do so by turning off the ignition in your car and waiting for the head unit to turn off automatically. After that, restart your car and let the infotainment system turn back on. Try connecting your phone now, and you shouldn't see the black screen if the issue were with the head unit. To rule out the possibility of an error related to wireless Android Auto on your phone, try connecting it to the car via a USB cable. If Android Auto works fine via the wired method, you have to pair your smartphone again to your car via Bluetooth for wireless Android Auto to work. If your phone is low on battery, it's advisable to plug your phone into a car charger while using Android Auto. Optionally, you can also end background apps on your phone to free up some additional RAM. This will ensure that Android Auto has enough resources to run smoothly. When your phone overheats, the performance is throttled to keep the temperatures in check. This throttling of performance can prevent Android Auto from functioning as intended, thus causing the black screen issue. So, if your phone is overheating, allow it to cool down for a while before using Android Auto. Also, ensure you keep your phone in a spot inside your car where there's no direct sunlight falling on it. Step 1. Open the Settings app on your smartphone and navigate to the Apps section. Step 2. Tap on See All Apps. Step 3. Scroll down and select Android Auto. Step 4. Choose the Storage and Cache option. Step 5. Tap on Clear Cache. Now, connect your phone to Android Auto again and the issue should be resolved. Step 1. Open the Settings app on your smartphone and navigate to the Apps section. Step 2. Tap on See All Apps. Step 3. Scroll down and select Android Auto. Step 4. Now, go to the bottom of the screen and tap on App Details under Store. Step 5. You will be taken to the App page on Play Store. If there is an update available, tap on the Update option. Step 1. Open the Settings app on your smartphone. Step 2. Navigate to the Connected Devices section. Step 3. Tap on Connection Preferences. Step 4. Select Android Auto. Step 5. You will now be taken to Android Auto Settings. Tap on Previously Connected Cars. Step 6. Select the three-dot menu in the top right corner of the screen. Step 7. Now, tap on Forget All Cars. Step 8. Go back to the previous menu and select Connect a Car. Follow the on-screen instructions to connect your phone with your car's head unit.